Hello everyone, if you guys haven't already, like, comment and subscribe, push the notification bell to be notified every time I upload YouTube, this is Connor Moses, Titanic Fans World Reach Wrestling, Star Connor Moses, hope you guys enjoy this video, so this is going to be a good video, we'll go back, go to that, gonna be a good video today we're gonna explore the stern today I'm doing this for you all to be honest I love this game it's one of my favorite games to play I will be talking about the Titanic I do a lot of these videos I hope you guys enjoy this video honestly you guys are the best fans in the world uh, this is going to be good. We're going to explore the stud today. With yesterday, we did the bow section of Titanic. Today, we're doing the stud. We're, sit we're coming across a lot of debris already, as you guys can see. Bit of the ship. Oh, we're at the stern right now. Hang on. I forgot where I was from it then. I just want to see what this over here is. No, it's just a piece of the ship. That'll be located on deck as well. These engines are massive. In the next Titanic on a glory update, these engines will be in it. These engines are bigger than you think. To the memories of the Titanic. 
add the lost souls on her, the legendary, the legend of your story lives as well, never be forgotten. A big shout out to Spammels, he's a really nice, he, I've, he's, I've sent him a few messages before. Oh wow. As I'm going on a ghost hunt this very soon in two weeks. Absolutely incredible. His engines are big. If you want to get a full scale, big the engines were. Try this in VR. Trust me when I'm saying this, you'll get the full scale. Massive shout out to Jesse King, one of my best mates. Going on a go site very soon, in two weeks as well, to St. Brival's Castle. I'm going to go up on deck at the moment.
This would have been the room. Oh, whoa. This would have been a room on this part of the deck. Honestly, I highly recommend you guys checking this game out. I know I've already played this game a lot of times, but honestly, I highly recommend you guys checking this game out. This would have been the promenade deck. This room would have been beautiful. Can't go down there, but... We can through this bit. Oh my.
Oh, I love this game. I'm just taking my time. I don't want to rush it. I just love. I literally love this game. It's one of my favourite games to play. It's one of the onboarding entrances. One of the other ones, that is. Oh, wow. Oh, we're at the point where the ship split. Pretty m off, I'm right. I think this is the point where it broke. Yeah, it is. That would have been... This would have been, uh... Are we allowed to go any... We can go further than this. We're going... I just want to... I just want to check this area out. Uh, I just want to check this whole area out. Because I've never fully... Oh, I got him. Am I able to go any further? No, I'm not able to go any further, but if I could, I would... If I could, I would... Oh God, try and get out. Okay. Or am I... If I could go any further into that room, you know what it's like? We could peek through the windows. Uh gonna peek through the windows obviously we can't go in in it that part of the area just the game just uh, just gonna put some music on See if we can peek through. Yeah, we can. We just can't go in. Which is a real shame. We can't go in, but in the Titanic on a glory game, we'll be able to go in that room. If you guys have an idea what this room, the room where we just got to go in would have been, if you guys have an idea what this room would have been, can you let me know down in the comments? In the comments, it really help me out. I've been to a lot of history, including this ship's history. See if you have guys have any history about the about this ship, anything related. I'm all ears. Oh wow! Literally, I'm, it's like I said, I'm really into history. Anything, literally any type of history. Oh, wow. I mean it with the... Oh, I know what this is. Oh, God, I'm going to... Proper... Okay, we're at the point where the ship's split now. I know where I want to go. I'm not going to rush it, as like I said. I'm going to go to the... If that room I said I was going to try and get into, if I could, I could get into it, but I can't. This would have been a room as well. This is some of the remaining tiles still in this position. Oh. It's just a shame to not to, to know the ship's not going to be around for much longer. Well, at least we got this game and honor glory and movies, documentaries and Titanic wreck footage to find out to show you what the ship would have, what the ship would have looked like. What we got, um, like um, we've got other things like Titanic related. We got wreck footage to check out to know what the wreck would have looked like when the shipwreck does eventually disappear. I know where I want to go. I will go back that way in a minute. I just want to 
fully have a look at this entire area. Hang on. Oh wow. Oh wow. I've I love this game so much. This is a highly recommendable game. I literally highly recommend you guys buying this. I'll go to, oh, it's the Bob Ballard plaque. I'm just going to go over and read it. Fuck it, Mabel. I'll try. I'm not promising anything. Oh, God. I can read it. If the memory of those souls lo who lost within the Titanic, April 15th, 14th, 1912, de dedicated to William H. Well, you get the idea. Of the person who dreamed to find the Titanic has been realised by Dr. Robert Ballard. The officers of memories of the Titanic His Historical Society 1986 this is where if I could try and so I try to basically from the bow this is where people went running from the bow substage all the way to this point and there would have been people jumping right down there uh tried it before what of and the uh, the life jackets they were wearing obviously the life jacket was designed to keep the heads up to keep your head up uh so second the life jacket push against you the second you hit the floor you would have they would have break it would have broke your neck so from the life jacket just go you get the idea I know what I mean, I just can't try to put it out right. From, if I can try to put it right. From the life jackets they were wearing at the time, the life jacket was designed, well, you get the idea of what it was designed to do. So it would push up against, I think it was, you, correct me if I'm wrong, this is from what I've tried to remember, was designed to, it would have pushed your head, Head up, it would have broke your neck somehow. Well, you get the idea, pretty much. Uh, this is where... Buddy, uh, I remember roughly now. Uh, if I'm right, I think that... Forget what bit would have been here. But I know what I mean. I think this is the point where... That... Oh, I forget the name of it, but... Um... Uh, how do I put it? There would have been something with a wheel on it that would have been right on the spot. You guys know what I mean. I just can't think of the name of it. Uh, oh, no, I mean, I've sold the box for like a... If I could show you, I could, but I'm in the middle of recording, but... I know what I mean. So It's like a... I can't explain it because you guys will know that. I'm trying, but I find it so difficult to explain right now. Um, so, this game is so, so beautiful. I just, the first day I played this, I fell in love with it. Fun fact, this was the first Titanic game I ever played. And I'm not lying. And then I tried Titanic Honor Glory, at the Honor Glory, at the um, Titanic exhibition in Exeter, which has sadly ended now, though. But it was a two-week limited, limited thing, but it was 100% worth, worth your time. See so if you guys haven't already... Go ahead and check out Titanic Honor and Glory on YouTube and all their social medias. Check out the website. And follow Zoe Soldada on Instagram. She's doing 
beautifully well, isn't it, Terry? The Terry is one of the the most beloved characters in the James Cummins Avatar franchise as well. Um, I really want to see the new movie now you mention it. So, this will take me some time to get up that way. This one, I went down looking into that bit down there earlier. Oh, wow. I don't... I know I say that a lot, but when you play this in VR, it's a whole nother experience. It's like actually in front of the Titanic wreck. For me, sadly, this is the only closest I'm going to get, but it does... It's a lot of money just to... You can dive to it, but it... I'm not so sure how much it is to dive to it, but I know it's a lot. It's a lot of money just to dive to Titanic. This is the only closest I'm going to get, sadly. If I want to know what the Tide Wreck looks like, all I have to do is watch Titanic Wreck footage. So there's nothing to really worry about. There we go. I hope you guys... Uh, going to try and get up here. Uh, can't, won't let me get up there. There we go. This game's worth it. I just love this game. I will probably do a video on this game tomorrow if I'm able. Um, I talked a bit about the ship in general. This is where you'd well enter the ship, really. It's what that? What is this specific point? There we go. I'm gonna try and get the. Getting that now. Oh, honestly, I know I say this over and over, but I apologise for keep carry for keep. Whoop! I got. I apologise for keep going on and on and on and on. But honestly, I really do love this game. It's one of my favourite games to play. Let a lot of being honest. I don't play it on wrestling. Just gets me worked up. But this is more of a adventure type games. It's the same thing with Titanic or Glory. I uh, prefer these sort of games to be honest. I think we all do. We want some at times as well. I literally love adventure games like this one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been absolutely... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Get the ROV back in the... Honestly, this is... For me, I'm getting a bit... It's alright. I just love Titanic so much. It is my favourite ship ever. It was my sister got me hooked, I'll be honest. I watched... The James Cameron's Titanic with her. I asked her if I could watch it with her. She said yes. And I basically watched that with her the the entire movie. I've not I didn't move it. I just fell in love with it straight away. I wasn't very old at the time. I was about a couple of months old or maybe one something like that. Cause I was born in 1998. James Cameron was released released a year before I was born. So when I was born, James Cameron's Titanic was already was already most likely on DVD at that point. I don't really know because I was born in May of of 1998, and it's this game is incredible. I'm getting getting a bit teary. It's just a whole other experience. It's like. I don't treat it as a game, I treat it as an experience, if what it be like, you actually dive to it. We've played this so many times, this is not the only time we've been playing on this. I do this for you guys, I don't do it for me, I do it for you. Your guys are the reasons why I carry on, I've been doing this for nearly seven years now. I just love this, this helps with my anxiety and my sensory integration as well. Them two are not a nice combination, just on being honest. 
when my head starts to go funny, it triggers my sense of aggression, and then me anxiety. So, if you guys, uh, if you guys haven't checked out the this is this is me Connor Moses what sense of aggression really is video, I highly recommend you guys check it out. My mum explains beautifully what sense of aggression does to people like me. Uh, I'm not the only one that has sexual aggression. There is people out there in this world we're in that has sexual aggression. I know I'm not the only one. I'm 20. I'm 24 years old, and I. And I it's, this game is. I'm trying not to get too. It's just this game's brilliant. It's one of the best games my mum and dad ever legit got me. I love this. Peace out.